Welcome my students and other passers-by to my continuing coverage of chapter 7, which discusses periodic trends. In this video I will teach you the periodic trends of the sizes of atoms and ions. So as we discussed in our previous video, linked to in the description below and possibly floating as a link over my head right now, atoms sizes generally get smaller as you go to the right and up on the periodic table, thereby making francium the largest element and helium the smallest. But I ask you, what about the sizes of ions? Now remember, ions are atoms that have charges on them caused by them gaining or losing electrons. How do we compare the sizes of ions? I want you to imagine that you took yourself in this case, a silly picture of me, and put yourself on an extremely accurate scale. Then you put a single coin in your pocket and remeasured yourself on that scale. Would you weigh more or less? Yeah, obviously you would weigh a little bit more. Now, what if you did the reverse? What if the original version of you right here had a coin in your pocket and then you took it out? What would you weigh then? Yeah, you'd weigh a little bit less just by virtue of gaining or losing a coin. Similarly, if you give an atom an electron, it makes that atom a little bit larger. And if you take an electron away from an atom, it makes the atom smaller. Thus, when comparing neutral atoms and ions of the same element with each other, more electrons equals larger and fewer electrons equals smaller. Now at this point you might wonder, okay, what if we're comparing atoms of different elements with each other? What do we do there? Well, as you might remember in our previous video, again, linked to in the description below or floating is a link over my head. As you go across a row, more protons equal smaller atoms. And we also explained why in that previous video. The reason of course is because while the outermost quantum number or orbital size for all of these elements in the same row is not any larger. That is the outermost occupied orbital for lithium and beryllium is a 2s and for all of these elements is a 2p and both of these kinds of orbitals are all in an energy level of n equals two. So I'm not gonna get any larger size orbitals because they're all at an N equals two level. What I do have as I go left to right is larger number of protons. And protons, which are in the nucleus and thus do not contribute in any way to the size of the atom itself because all of that is the consequence of the size of the outer cloud of electrons. But those protons do suck electrons in because they attract those electrons. Hence, every time you get one more proton, the electron cloud sucks in a little bit and makes the atom smaller. <laughs> Hence, more protons equals smaller, not bigger. And that explains the trend as you go left to right across a row. Separately, we also learned that atoms get larger as you go down a column on the periodic table. The reason for this is because the energy level of their outermost orbital's principal quantum number, or n, increases. And larger n equals larger orbital, and hence larger size. Make sense? Good. We now have enough knowledge to take on an example problem. I would like you to explain the following variations in atomic or ionic radii, that is the radii or sizes of ions. I invite you, of course, to try this on your own. And if you like, I've got a link in the description below or floating over my head somewhere to a separate video in which I talk you through the answers. Until next time then, my wonderful students, please have an enjoyable rest of your day.